There they are. Good shot of our line coming down the chute now. On to the course. 5,500, ladies and gentlemen, you have a race. You heard it. We have a race. Watch our jet pace plane pull up out of the way. Our racers are on the course. They've got to stay in that perspective lane all the way to the guide pylon. They're going to shove the nose down, try and trade that altitude for airspeed, get a little bit of advantage, but not get slammed down on the bottom when you get to that guide pylon. Okay, they're look, we're looking out there now. They're just about to the guide pylon. They give them about two seconds. They're going to be there. It'll be that light you'll see down in the green sagebrush. And they're right about there. Left turn, sharp turn, going right about now. There they are. There's the light. Okay. See, see the advantage to our pole position? Look where he is compared to what, where he moved second and third place just by having the inside line when he made that turn. Sean Van Hatten in race number three right there. It certainly is an advantage to be out first. Gives you a better chance of staying out first. But he's got two very, very determined women right on his tail. Jesse Panzer, she's a heck of a pilot out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, flying an airplane uh, that used to be flown by Vicky Cruz called Cruise Missile. And then we've got Vicky Benzie from Saratoga, California. She's our air show pilot. She flies everything from helicopters to jets. And, uh, boy, she is right there. Look at it. You could throw a blanket over all three of them, Tommy. How's that for some close oh, racing? Oh, we love racing class? like that. <laughs> Don't we love that here in Reno? Probably busting 300 miles an hour, close to 300 miles an hour right about now. Look how tight they are as they do the hard left turn, pulling about four and a half Gs as they make that turn around the pylons. They're coming around pylons seven, eight, and nine right now. Very critical that they don't go too high at that point. Dropping the nose down, heading for the guy. Look at that. Look at the race coming as they go for the steel star finish pylon to finish lap one. Look at that. Nothing like tight formation at 300 miles an hour. Oh, beautiful thing right there. Tight racing here, and we're going to go be doing this for six full laps. Chewing up about that. 41 miles. Wing abreast, line abreast in the back. We have one tie. I told you these guys are less than one mile apart in speed. Look at that formation. Vicky trying to trade a little bit of altitude for airspeed, get a little advantage on Jesse. Again, Jesse's in that uh, cruise, the, the cruise missile, that glass air. Our first and third airplanes are both Lance Airs, a little bit slicker airplanes. But again, uh, as we saw with uh, Race 39 in the, in the Gold, the Unlimited uh, uh, Sport, uh, nothing wrong with the Glass Air. There's still a 20-year-old oh, no, design that's, that's boy, able that's to run away, man. Number one plane out there yeah. in the Glass Air. So, no doubt about it. Right now, okay, fourth place. Let's see where we're at now because we had a lot of moving around going on back there. So that looks like it might be George Catalano from Scottsdale, Arizona. Flying uh, Bigger Dingo, Lance Air Legacy, back to the front. Okay, now right now, Sean Van Hatton's hoping that Jesse and Vicky are getting a little dogfight of their own. Sure, yeah. Because if they start watching each other, he's going to try and sneak away. He's in race number three. He started in the pole position. He still remains in first place right now, Sean Van Hatton, with havoc. Because not only is Jesse in that white airplane keeping an eye on uh, Sean, she's also having to keep an eye on Vicky. Or I should say, Vicky's going to keep a tight eye on, on oh, her. It, Look it, how she, close they are. Vicky's trying to make a move up high. Now, if she can get past her, no, she's not going to do it back uh, there. Not going to happen on this one. All the passes have to be high or wide. They can't do. They can't dive to the inside. Because if this was auto or motorcycle racing, Vicky could trade that out to the airspeed, dive to the inside on this next pylon, and make a pass. They can't do that because those other two airplanes would be to her belly, which would be a, a blind spot. Cannot do that. So they need about seven miles per hour airspeed to make the pass. Look at that, Pat. Look down the back. Look how tight the second. Oh, that is so close. There for second place. <laughs> Vicky's trying to do it. Now, where they, okay, they're on the back. They're about the 11 o'clock position on the race course, which means in just a second, they're going to go into the Valley of Speed. The Valley of Speed is a drag race up the west side of the course. They're going to go from north to south on the west side of the course. You see how the wings are level now? This is a drag race until they get to pylon seven. You're going to see them rack up in another sharp left turn when they get to pylon seven as they come around eight, nine. Again, very, very critical turn. That's where all the observers are watching to make sure they don't go too high or too low because of the scatter field should there be an incident on that turn. Vicky Benzing working hard to get past into second place and may have looked from that angle like she'd done it, but she still is lagging just a bit. But she's flying the longer course. You can really yep. see it here. Now, now look at this. Okay, Jesse Panzer is really putting a move on Sean Van Hatt. And Vicky's saying, okay, if I can get those two in a dogfight, then I will <laughs> Maybe have I can advantage. Slip through there. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of strategy goes into these races. Now, look at the fourth place plane sneaking up behind. Absolutely. George Catalano, he has been, as they are fighting in the front, he's been slowly moving Bigger Dingo, his little Lance Air Legacy, up. 
moving in. Now keep in mind too, Carl Grove has one of the fastest airplanes out there. That might was that Carl moving in. We got to check check that number yeah. as it comes up. Because race uh, 181, okay, okay, it is race uh, four, George Catalano. I think it could be. But keep in mind that Carl Grove, 181, he could easily move through the pack on this one as well. Okay, let's try and figure out, let's get some numbers on these planes as they come by, because it looks like we may have had a pass in the back there. And Sean Van Hatten. You know, looks like Sean's kind of backed off a little bit. Yeah. If that's, if that's the case, Jesse Panzer just made one heck of a pass on him. Because that does look like the glass air out front, or is that the glass air? Boy, it's hard to tell. Hard you can't tell. see the bottom. Kind of looks like the glass air is in third place. Might yeah, be our two lands air. So that might have be? been Vicky Benzing made that pass back there. Wow, it is. It That's is. Vicky Benzing and uh, and Lucky Girl. She's the lucky girl, all right. She just made the pass, but look how close it is. Jesse said, "No, no, no, you're not getting away yet." Because <laughs> Jesse getting on her now. Wow. Okay, so we've got Vicky Benzing out front. We have uh, Sean Van Patten, or John Van Hatten, and then Jesse Panzer with uh, George Catalano sticking up on them. So now we've got a race for a three-way race for second. And right now, if that is, I think that's Vicky that got out front. So Vicky's saying, okay, you guys sit back there and battle all you want. I'm going to slide this thing on home. So what a race. Wow, what a move by Vicky Benzing. Vicky Benzing, race 15, the lucky girl. Now no. grinding out a little bit more of a lead at this point. At the 12 o'clock position on a race course, the far side of the track out there. Yeah, this should be the final lap, I believe, isn't it? Lap four we're in now, I think. I'm looking for a flag down here at the Steel Star Finish Pylon. They've already put it away, so we'll see if they bring a checkered up here in a second. We'll All right. See if they bring the white or the checker up looking out the Steel Star Finish Pylon. Okay, that is the... Glass air looks like the glass air is in third place, so that means we've got uh, looks like Vicky Benzing in first place, Sean Van Hatten, and here's our leader. That should be Vicky Benzing and Lucky Girl, race number uh, 15. Get a, let's see if we get a number as they come by. Yeah, that is Vicky it's Benzing, be race 15. Wow, good job, Vicky. Oh, and she's putting a little bit of space between herself okay, and her pursuers. They're on, the, they're on the bell lap now. White flag just waved. Okay, so she's going to stay out front. Now she has to make sure she doesn't beat herself by cutting a pylon. White flag, white flag. Her crew's on the radio now saying just fly your course. They're no factor. But look at the race going on for second place between Sean Van Hatten, Jesse Panzer, and George Catalano. Look at that. Line abreast at 300 miles an hour for second place. Looks like George may have just snuck around... Uh, Around Jesse in that glass air. He's taking it down now, and he's taking the lead at this point, it looks like. Yes, it looks like yes. he's a solid move into second place on the back. Vic, Vicky's crew saying, okay, somebody's coming, but I think you're okay. Let's go back front. Take a look at Vicky. She's all by herself out there. But again, George Catalano and flying bigger dingo, the Lancer Legacy out of Scottsdale, Arizona, has already made a statement, moved into a solid second place, and is still pulling away. He's making up a little bit of time, perhaps on Vicky Benzing. It's hard to tell from They're this point. They're at valley of speed right now, the 9 o'clock position on our course. Vicky's got to get around pylon 7, 8, 9 one more time. Push the nose down on Lucky Girl and collect another victory right here at National Championship Reno Air Races, courtesy of Steel. Vicky flying in multiple classes here in Reno. Yep, she's flying uh, the sport class as well as jet. There she is. She got the nose down. Checker flag. Vicky Benzing, second place. Unofficially, George Catalano. Look at the race. Oh! Jesse Panzer at the steel start finish pylon. Jesse Panzer moves into third place and bumps Sean Van Hatten back. Boy, exciting racing in the sport class. B. Wow. Just about as good as it gets here in Reno. Yeah, boy, what a race. So now we're going to be listening to see if there's any pylon cuts, which is change everything by the time you think you've got everything figured out. Coming around to pylons now uh, should be our uh, fifth place airplane. Let's see if we get a number as it goes by. Uh, that should be Tom McNerney out of Blue Springs, Missouri. Race 55, you're yep. right, exactly. And then we should have two more on the course. Unless they've already snuck by us ahead of uh, Tom. 